Big Mama, your arm. <laughs> Can we talk about it? This movie about this dysfunctional, dysfunctional family. Soul food. Classic, classic movie. Big Mama, your arm. About some sisters and a family that was taking advantage of this woman right here. Because everybody was taking advantage of Terry. Can we talk about it? We got to start off the bat with a home run. Each and every single one of them was taking advantage of Terry. Birdie and Lem just uses and abuses. Her going back to that man, him going back to her. It was just toxic, toxic, toxic. This was one of the first toxic relationships we've seen on screen if you was in my age and my demographics. All of them just using Terry. Terry, was, Terry had just because she had a good job, I got to give all y'all money. All these broke boys, y'all dating all of these broke boys. And then Vivica, I don't remember Vivica name in this, but I just call her Vivica. We were on a Vivica hot streak right now. Vivica was 96, 97 was the year Vivica A. Fox. Nobody can take that away from my queen right now. And this little boy right here, Big Mama, your arm. He could have been the future child actor. He just stopped acting after. I forgot the last movie he was in. He's in a few movies. I had to check it before. But can we get back to this? <laughs> you know I had to throw this in here. Cousin Faith. Scandalous. This is why you don't let your cousin or your homegirl around your man. This is a prime example of Cousin Faith. They were supposed to be making a mixtape in a CD. But granted, trying to make a mixtape in a CD in 1997 was a lot of money. So he was invested in Cousin Faith. He was right there. Or was it like a dance studio? Who knows? She had plans for her man. And Terry went crazy with that knife. When Terry found out, and everybody was like, Terry, calm down. They was all gaslighting trying to manipulate Terry because they always use her and nobody was worse than Big Mama. Had all that money in the TV. You got your daughter paying for all of this stuff, paying for the house, doing all of this stressed out. And you got all of this money sitting in that old TV in your brother's room that n never came downstairs. First off, why is your brother upstairs? Why are you taking care of grown men? All right, this movie was dysfunctional, toxic, and I just wanted better for this whole family. <laughs> Even at the end of the movie, they still wasn't good. They had a good dinner. But I know right after that dinner, they went right back to fight. <laughs> Dysfunctional movie. But I loved it. This is a classic black movie. Classic soundtrack. I think Babyface did the soundtrack. Babyface was all over. Again, the 90s was just a beautiful period. Beautiful, beautiful period. Can we talk about it? Cousin Faith, though. I got a whole... Thing on Cousin Faith all day. I'm going to drag Cousin Faith. And wait till you see who I pair her up with later. It's going to be so funny. Because Cousin Faith was scandalous. Look at that. When she was getting strokes inside the dance studio. Listen, he had to leave his wife. Look at the look on his face. That's that. This ain't my wife face. We're going to leave Vivica for Cousin Faith.